Bertie, the 15-year-old daughter of Busy Phillips, experienced a seizure earlier this month while attending her Swedish boarding school. The former cast member of Cougar Town described the harrowing experience on her podcast, Busy Phillips is doing her best, on Wednesday. She said that the teen's location required her to observe the entire event over FaceTime. Phillips revealed that she heard her ex-husband Mark Silverstein, with whom she shares Bertie, screaming for her while she was downstairs going through stuff in her basement. She recalled, and I went upstairs, but as soon as I heard his voice, I knew something was really wrong. He simply exclaimed, it's Bertie, it's Bertie. She had another convulsion. The ambulances are currently on the phone. Phillips, 44, was visibly shaken and took a moment to compose herself before continuing. She had just emerged from the seizure and was still in the post-aura stage when the paramedics spoke with her on FaceTime. She claimed that they were hooking her up with stuff on FaceTime. According to Phillips, Bertie's seizure happened after she and her companion Sarah left their boarding school and went to Stockholm to attend the newest Hunger Games film, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. She attempted to inject some humor into the terrible scenario by saying, her friend who was with her, she was holding the phone so she was kind of, it was like this weird medium shot. In order for you to witness everything that was going on. Thus, it felt really strange. She seemed to be calling out for me as she reached for the camera. Saying only, Mama, Mama, Mama. How are you doing? Mama. Considerably though Silverstein had previously witnessed Bertie seizing, Phillips said that the situation was made considerably more trying when their daughter experienced the medical emergency for the first time because she was filming the next Mean Girls film. I was unable to leave the set, and Mark had already arrived at the school in time for the paramedics, so he had seen her in a similar situation before, she clarified. But being in a foreign country across an ocean and seeing it on a screen was really awful. Phillips claims that despite the chaotic circumstances, the paramedics spoke with her over the phone the whole time before hanging up to focus on assisting Bertie. Additionally, the mother of two offered Sarah a shout-out for acting quickly and maybe rescuing her daughter. According to Phillips, Sarah noticed something was off and informed the theater staff to stop the movie. She also asked the two boys seated behind them to move Bertie gently to the ground and put her on her side. Finally, she got someone else to call the Swedish 911 and the paramedics, as well as the school to obtain Phillips' phone number. She praised the 17-year-old, saying, that kid really f. King handled an emergency incredibly well. You adore page 6 even more. Silverstein, Phillips, and their 11-year-old daughter Cricket then boarded the first flight to Sweden from New York, leaving Sarah to spend the night in the hospital with Bertie. Following the teen's clearance and release from the hospital, the couple packed up her school belongings and returned her to the United States. Bertie is okay, but the incident has had a significant negative impact on the actress. I feel like I'm stuck, she said. Your therapist said to me yesterday that you seem to be distancing yourself. And I get that, I feel like this year has been confusing. I don't know what's going on. Like I keep getting put in new movies, I feel like I'm stuck in AF, King movie in a way that's not even dissociating. And all I want is to be back in mine, in my own life. Similar to my film, where everything is well. In addition, Phillips shared a few images and videos from her quick vacation to Sweden on Instagram on Wednesday, citing her lack of time to record a podcast episode the week before. I wasn't focused on finishing the week, so there wasn't a new podcast last week, she said. Birdie is doing well. I'm doing great. Everyone among us will be alright. But some time has passed. And a full year. The Freaks and Geeks alum revealed that she and Silverstein had been apart for more than a year on her podcast in May 2022. The couple tied the knot in 2007.